apologize for being late. All right, let's call the Village of Cross Plains Finance Advisory and Enhancement Committee of May 3rd, 2023 to order roll call, please. Committee Member Brandt? Yes. Committee Member Cutler? Yeah. Committee Member Henry? Committee Member Hillebrand? Trustee Pomakowski? Here. And President Langfeld? Here. All right, uh, public comment. Uh, this is an opportunity for anyone to address the Finance Advisory and Enhancement Committee. Please observe the time limit of three minutes while the Finance Advisory and Enhancement Committee encourages input from residents that may not discuss or act on any issue that is not duly noticed on the agenda. I think we don't have anybody. Nope. <laughs> okay. We would have made him an uh, honorary uh, member. What's that? <laughs> That if anybody was on, we would have made him an honorary member so we could yeah. have a quorum. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was all. That would have been all right with me. All right, uh, committee chairperson. I don't think I have anything that's not um, on the uh, uh, agenda. So, how about any committee member? Don't have anything. All right. No. All right, good. Finance director. And I'm the same as Jay. Anything I was going to bring up is kind of on the agenda already. All right. So then we'll go to uh, general uh, business. One, discuss and possible approval of the April 5th, 2023 Finance Advisor and Enhancement Committee minutes. Do I have a Did motion? I put those in there? I don't have money. Uh, you did put those there in are. there because I read them. There one. they are. Okay. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve them. All right. Seconded. Okay. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from April 5th. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same. So moved. Uh, the second discussion and possible action regarding sewer adjustment policy, I think, uh, wasn't this um, Kim's thing? No, that was mine. Oh, yours, Deb. Okay. All right. That was the one where we were talking about that no matter how we feel about whether or not people should get adjusted for sewer costs, that it costs the village uh quite a bit of money to do every single request. So maybe it needs a fee, which might even deter people from making sewer requests. So I mathed it out and it was about $1,500 went to the cost of sewer requests last year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm sure you can come up with many other ways to spend $1,500 than figuring out if someone deserves a sewer adjustment so, or not. So is, is that $1,500, if I'm seeing it, there were 30 adjustments made last year? There were 30 requests. I did not look to see if they were all adjusted. Okay. I just looked at how many requests there were in the last I would say the far majority of them were i think there may be one or two out of there that were was denied but mo most of them and i i think it still takes the administrative time yeah. yes so ballpark so, roughly 50 bucks that is what i am suggesting um because yeah it takes time and as i said no matter how you feel about it that's an hour and a half that is focused on just one individual from the village. Um, and that gets expensive and time consuming for everyone. So. Well, I appreciate, I certainly appreciate it in the 50 bucks. If you're looking for a hundred percent recovery, I, it seems that's high considering we aren't charging really administrative charges for many things. Do we charge for permit administrative charge? But a permit also has a fee. Well, I, yeah, I understood that. I'm just trying. 
But administrative fees is administrative fees, no matter what it's for. You can't say administrative right. fee doesn't matter if you're bringing in revenue. It's still a cost. True. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of read through that and looked at it. And I don't know. I'm not sure that I like charging people for this. Most of the time, they're one-off things when someone's establishing a yard or someone leaves a hose on. And I understand trying to recoup some of the cross, but $50 seems high if we're going to do anything plus i went through and kind of looked at some of these refunds and kind of figured out their processy for it i mean whether or not it's 50 dollars worth of work i'm not really sure i know one of them probably isn't the fellow that establishes his hockey rink in front of his yard it read in the packet that he actually goes down reads his water meter starts filling up the hockey rink and turns it off and goes down and reads it and sends the numbers to the people. I don't think there's a whole lot of analysis that staff does on that refund. The guy Why basically tells use... them how much money he used or how much water he used outside. Why isn't he using getting a second meter then? Because he does it once a year. It doesn't pay off generally. You he have has to... to yeah. Go he ahead, has Mike. to use over like I forget what I figured out. 10, like 11, 12,000 12, gallons outside for it to pay off. It's like 800 a month, maybe. Yeah, it's it's significant because the yeah. water itself is not the cost part of it. What's the cost part of it is being charged at the rate of the sewer rate. So when you have a second, I, I eliminated my second meter because it, it was actually costing me more money than then it was saving me because you have to use so much water for it to uh, pay for itself and with the analysis i did a few years ago 75 percent of the people in the village should get rid of their irrigation meter because those 75 percent don't put enough water through them for it to be cost effective so you know looking through it it was Someone left a hose on outside. They pretty much zeroed in on it. It was pretty easy. It looked like Becky kind of prints out a sheet that has their usage. You can clearly see 35, 35, 35, 12, 35, 35, 35. Jerry then goes, uh, bill them for 4,000 that month of the 12 and give them eight back. I mean, in terms of it taking time, I kind of got, got the gist that that's like what they were doing. I mean, it's not a complicated process. Right, but the time amounts we got from them, I didn't make Gary up. Gary actually said that we should do a minimum of two hours, and Becky and I both thought that was way too high. Like, Right. Uh, I even a half hour, I think. The numbers of how long it took that came from the people doing it. I so, mean, Bobby, how long does it take you to like adjust a bill like that like is that a really complicated thing once they tell you the numbers yeah by the time i actually calculate the adjustment and like make the adjustments in the software it's probably closer to 10 minutes instead of 30. okay but if i'm but the you, one but... um putting the stuff in the packet you know sometimes jerry doesn't do a memo he just sends an email so then i prepare the memo so it, it can be more than that but Oh, like the memo for the packet for it to be approved time also. Yeah. I mean, it's it's debatable. The reason why a lot of these are being done because they're people who are establishing their yards. Initially, it's a major fee up front. I'm just like, they just bought a house. They establish a yard. They come and they say, hey, we want a sewer. And they're like, great, but it's going to cost you 50 bucks to get it. Seems kind of like rude. Yeah. Like right off the get go. Would you I guess I I wouldn't be in favor of this? How about uh, at 25? Just curiously. Like, is it the amount you're not in favor of or the fee? For me, I it's think the just amount. charging them. Yeah, I have a problem charging them for that. At all. Um, yeah. See, I I we gotta start going uh for some user fees. I, I was in the ten to twenty dollar range, somewhere in there. I, and I don't think that's unusual. I mean, everybody's charging administrative costs for everything nowadays. So I, I, I don't think that's unreasonable. I think they're getting uh, money back. So 
Um, they certainly had a way of preventing this from happening. So I don't have a problem with um, having an administrative fee, but 50 bucks is too high. I would be putting oh, it in yeah. 10 to $20 range, but that's, that's where I would be sitting. Cut it in half and do 25. So it's half on the village and half on the person. John, what do you think? I'm, I'm kind of in the 20 to 25 range. All right. And Michael, you're you're just totally opposed of a of a fee. I mean, I understand it takes staff time, but like Bobby said, ten minutes. I you know I think I think Becky's fairly proficient <clears throat> on figuring out water usage. I mean, she can find people who are overusing from month to month. She informs people. And with that printout of the usage thing, as how I described, it seemed like how Jerry does his estimations and how most yeah, so of these, say again? I was going to say for Becky, it's reviewing the report, you know, calling the people or sending them, you know, preparing and sending out a letter. You're and right, then afterwards right. she calls them and, you know, lets them know about the adjustment. And so again, not a hit. <laughs> right. You I, I understand. Uh, like I understand that, but I just, yeah, I, I think I'm against it because I think that that's just a function of a service that our water utility is providing. Why does it have to be an additional charge? Well, because here's the thing: most it's it's an extra charge because someone in the village. If if you would take Becky out of the equation where she doesn't review these bills and doesn't send the email and then doesn't do the follow up and the re it's all on the residents to to do the the charge and and figure that out then i'm fine with it but we're literally going out and trying to get people to which is fair to appeal their bill i there should be a cost i i feel we should be reimbursed for that service it's one you know she's taken the time to look at these these numbers to see when someone is all of a sudden has a spike in it you know, and everybody gets that letter and then she follows up with the phone call. Is that something that is required? I bet you there's very few villages that do that. And no, I, that's definitely and, not and the, I, the I, user I, to follow up on their bills. Not I, I, I can definitely tell you that when I when we owned the whole home in Madison and we had the leaky faucet. Uh, the city of Madison never called us up, sent us a letter or anything saying, hey, you know, you might want to do something about this. In fact, I was shocked. Well, because, yeah, isn't it like six months, their building cycle? Is it still uh, six months? Or three months? It used to be six months. Now they went uh, quarterly. Yeah. Oh. But it was like when we got, we had the running toilet and, you know, all of a sudden we get a letter in the mail. And I was like, this is kind of above and beyond, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. and, and I, I think I, there is, you know, if we're, if the village is going to perform that service and then somebody turns around and says, yep, and now pay me back, that to me that seems presumptuous that they're going to get that service for free. And Becky needs a raise. Is that agreed across the board for being this above and beyond? Well, no, no. We let's not talk. Let's not go down that route. Let's take focus <laughs> on on the tasks and the service that's being provided. Right. So then, at the exact same time, when she monitors water uses, she's found, uh, you know, somebody has a leaky toilet and she's like, you know, something's using water in your house with something on outside or something running somewhere. And if it's an internal thing, they don't have any ability to, mm -hmm. I mean, they could still ask for a refund, but if it's an inside sink or an inside toilet, it's basically going to be denied by the board because it's gone to the sewer plant. So in those cases that, you know, the village isn't losing revenue, but she's still going to go through the pieces to find that. Now, now when she calls somebody and says, hey, you have a leaky toilet. Oh, and guess what? We're going to send you a bill for 20 bucks because I just told you that. 
No, I'm not saying no. Well, no. see, but that's no, a service. Works. That's a service. Mike, Michael, come on. Let's, that let's, is. It absolutely is because she doesn't have to do that and just let the bill just keep on running up. The, right. The, the, she does not have to do that. If Becky stopped doing that because she is over, I assume she has a lot on her plate and people start finding these things on their own through their bills, uh, let's take Becky going above and beyond out of the equation because she is going above and beyond what any village would do or any government entity would so, do so can we just not say that she's going above and beyond and can we just say that we have a good government that's doing good things government wise right like that, that is part of her job things? i don't think it is going above and beyond i think you're right michael no i i agree that's that's what i'm saying but on the same, if that is the case, then we are going to run out of money. And if we believe in service, and I'm a very big in user fees, I don't see someone's going to complain about a $20 administrative fee to file a refund when they're getting $400 back. Do the math, you know. Um, I, I just, I don't find that unreasonable at all. Um, so we're going to get kicked out of our meeting because Brian forgot to switch it back. So it'll kick us out here in a minute. So everyone will have to I'll restart the meeting. So, so we'll have to log back in or do the thing again? Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's my fault. That's on me. All right. Well, well, that's what have happened anyway, if we would have started on time, probably. Yeah, because I know you had it. It was set up to be me 